Do you know what that thing is whizzing through the sky? It's an unidentified anomalous phenomenon. You probably know it as UFO. I'm gonna get back to this video in a second. That video was released by a NASA independent study group who met today and released some of its findings after studying these so-called UAPs for about a year. The Pentagon currently says it's investigating about 800 or so cases of these things. Now, back to the video. It was taken by an American drone pilot in the Middle East in 2022. And the scientists on the panel today said this is really typical of the UAPs they keep seeing. So they're sort of round or orb-like shaped. They're white, silver, or translucent. They travel between like 10,000 and 30,000 feet above the water or the ground in this case. They reach speeds of like Mach 2 all the way down to remaining stationary and there's no thermal exhaust detected. The scientists on the panel said the frustrating part about studying these UAPs is they can't even get a clear definition of what specifically they're looking for, saying it's not like they're looking for a needle in a haystack. They're not even sure they're looking for a needle. But what they can conclusively determine is whether it's hay or not, and then anything that's not may need further investigation. Another problem they keep coming up with is there are a lot of things that appear in the sky that people, trained pilots, military personnel, and even astronauts see and think that's a UAP. For example, take a look at this video from the western part of the United States. You can see those three dots sort of moving suspiciously back and forth and back and forth. Well, obviously they initially thought UAP. But then, after more corroborating data, they figured out that the sensor that was capturing this video was actually on a gimbal, so it wasn't locked down and it was sort of shaking back and forth as it was taking the video. And then they matched the data with the FAA and realized those are actually planes going into land. Moral of that story, sometimes your eyes can be deceiving you. One scientist at today's meeting says it's important for Congress to understand that yes, there are a lot of UAPs being reported, but the vast majority can be explained. There's only a small handful that they absolutely can't explain, mostly because they're missing data. But they confirm that yes, there are unidentified objects in the air and there needs to be better collaboration between NASA, the FAA, and the Department of Defense to figure out exactly what they are. They are.